So I'm down 18 so far. I gotta <laughs> check my numbers, but we were talking about this in the break. Yeah. If you're gonna play Friday night. I, you know, I think now I feel like Friday's my lucky day. Oh, is there? Yeah. You go. <laughs> I'm, feeling, I'm feeling lucky. You know, we've got temperatures in the 50s in January. Yeah. We're, we're kind of lucky all around. This is true. Yes. Let's keep this lucky streak going with the lotto. Yes, let's all win it. We can all split it. Oh, that's, I know. like that See? idea. Yeah, and that's on tape now. So you can hold me to it if I win on Friday. <laughs> well, let's talk about this warmth because yeah. not only is it going to get warm, it's going to get wet. We see that okay. a lot when we warm up like this. Here's a look outside right now. We'll take you up to the Poconos. Not a ton of snow on the slopes, and man, they've been really trying at the ski resorts to make snow. It has been cold enough at times, but certainly with temperatures above freezing every day, above average every day, we have seen a lot of that melting, and skiers probably hoping for a good Mother Nature produced snowfall to get out there on the slopes up in Carbon County and throughout the Poconos. Temperatures right now, like you can see across the entire Northeast, are relatively mild, at least from mid January. We are headed into what is traditional. Traditionally, the coldest time of the year for us, mid to late January, average highs only in the upper 30s, but we don't really have any extreme cold to tell you about, even in the extended forecast. Right now, it's 44 in Philly. It's a little colder up in Syracuse. It's 27 there, 38 in Pittsburgh, 52 in Charleston as our next system approaches. So clouds increasing today. 46 degrees will be our eventual high this afternoon. 47 degrees down the shore, turning cloudy and mostly cloudy in the Lehigh Valley with a temperature about 41 degrees. Here's a look on next weather. Storm scan showing a warm front followed by a subsequent storm system and associated cold front. That's what comes through tomorrow night for us. This is the warm front right here and you can see it's producing some light showers basically from Saginaw, Michigan, right on down to the mountains of uh, North uh, West Virginia, I should say, even down into Virginia and the Carolinas. The actual storm we're watching taking shape here over the Rockies. Right now it's all snow, but as it moves east, it's tapping into some very warm air. So by the time this gets here, it's going to be all rain. Clouds increasing tonight. Tonight is mainly dry, but overnight into tomorrow morning, there may be some mountain snow showers, maybe even a few flakes in the Lehigh Valley tomorrow morning. That's the warm front that's out of here quickly. Cold front and the associated storm comes through tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. That's when the heaviest rain will fall around midnight Friday, possibly lasting right on into that Friday morning commute. This is 7 a.m. That then clears out and then it will turn cooler, but not all that cold as we head into your weekend. A burst of cold, a few flakes on Saturday, possibly, then a dry and sunny Sunday on the way for us. Coming up, we'll take a closer look at that seven day forecast, but Jim and Janelle does look like rain. Thursday night into Friday, then turning colder for the weekend. We'll send it back to you. Oh boy, thanks, Kate. Appreciate it. Well, tonight the original.